Mojo app version 3.0 has arrived. It's been polished, buffed and fine-tuned to within an inch of its life and what we find now is an app that is sleek, it's intuitive and absolutely jam-packed with features and it's ready to take your measuring, your viewing, your editing and exporting of course to a whole new level and here's the best bit it's free and designed with you in mind loaded with the likes of area calculator color layers scale grid and marker 3d contour view label and ignore points plus fresh cad exporting options so let me break all of these all of those down for you just a little bit more like i said you can now label and ignore points as you measure Gone are the days of finishing your measurements before adding notes. There's no more waiting till the job is done. There's no more backtracking. There's no more scribbling notes on the back of your hand. We've all done it. We've all been there. This new on the fly functionality lets you label key features the very moment that they appear, capturing the details of your site in real time. There's no hassle. There's no going back, just efficient on the spot customization and see also highly requested and now here the area calculator which makes light work of complex calculations by letting you compute net areas between multiple layers within your diagrams drag drop and let the app do the rest complex calculations just not anymore and if that weren't enough we've also introduced color layers it's a simple stunning way to organize each individual layer with a splash of color from highlighting critical zones to making your diagrams pop it's all about making your work effortless to review and it it's mighty easy on the eye as well then let's see what else oh yeah like i mentioned before the scale grid and scale marker it's a subtle yet powerful update that adds clarity and precision to your 2d measurements now you can instantly see scale and context at a glance ensuring your data is always grounded you can customize your grid in the display settings with options like let me see no grid for a clean look there's ground plane no scale for simple reference then of course there's major lines for if you want a clear structure maybe and then you've got major and minor lines for maximum detail it's intuitive it's elegant and designed to make your measurements more precise than ever it's a small change with a big impact so let me see what else is there oh, of course 3d contour view let me explain it's well introducing a whole new perspective you now have the option to switch from the classic 2d projection to a brand new 3d projection you can visualize elevation changes gradients and subtle rises in the terrain like never before it's not just data and numbers anymore it's well it's a more complete visual story of your site like imagine surveying a site with rolling hills or sharp gradients in the past you'd rely on interpreting flat data but now you can see the rises and falls the peaks and the valleys as if you're walking the land itself it's practical it's powerful and it's a feature that redefines how we view terrain uh, let me see oh yeah another new feature volume toggle in surface view flexibility is the key here choose how you measure volumes with the new lowest point plane and perimeter plane options like so lowest point plane which calculates from the deepest part of the area it's perfect for pools and excavations or maybe opt for perimeter plane which uses the outer boundary as the baseline that's ideal for stockpiles and mounds flexibility is the name of the game and Mosier 3.0 always is looking to deliver this in spades um, another feature and I know users have asked for this to export CAD files with points so we're making your CAD workflow slicker than ever capture points now export as DXF point objects not just lines like here is what it looked like before and here's what it looks like now and oh yeah notice how these colored layers in the Mojo app also carry over to CAD software it's a proper tidy setup aligning your CAD pro diagrams with what's actually on the Mojo app 
and also those ignored points. You can export them too as a separate layer with an on off toggle within the CAD software. It's simple and it's genius. Uh, then there's Smooth Z and Actual Z. So you can now take control of your trace path elevation data. Smooth Z, well, that flattens out the jagged, wobbly, smaller movements you will have made in trace while, let's say, avoiding obstacles like overhanging foliage, etc. So now I guess you can focus on the broader picture. And then there's Actual Z, which shows you the true unfiltered path that you took in trace. Choose your perspective to get the insight you need, I guess. Let me see. Then there is, of course, um, multi-layered surfaces. Mosher 3.0 has made layering a dream come true. Keep perimeter points in one layer, elevation points in another. Then feast your eyes on it all in 3D surface view. It's a new dimension of clarity, literally and figuratively. By the way, in case you haven't noticed, Mosier app 3.0, it has, if you can see, a new theme. We freshened up our colors theme, ensuring everything looks sharp and professional. So no matter if you're a fan of light or dark mode, this one's for those who love a slick interface to complement their, well, your top-notch measurements. Am I forgetting anything? I know I am. Ah, oh, of course. One of my favorites, you can now switch between 2D and 3D faster. At the click of an icon, you can glide between 2D and 3D views as you measure. Just tap the icons to tog toggle views. It's faster, it's simpler, and in my view, it's better. Then we have new view animations. Smooth transitions ensure a pleasant experience between switching between viewpoints like just check that out. It's so cool. If the views share similarities, also they'll stay in perfect sync. And let me see, not forgetting, of course, we've now got backgrounds and 2D contour. So you can add a background image to 2D contour for helpful site context. It's perfect for matching up your measurements with the real world setting, just like in 2D plan view or the 2D fit view, if you can remember. Um, how could I forget, actually? Point-to-point -point PDFs. It's another new option in your toolbox. You can export point-to-point -point measurements as scale PDFs. It's one more way of making your measuring, your measuring life that, well, that little bit easier. So with 3.0, Mosier has, well, it's stepped up again. It's technology working hand-in-hand -hand with practicality. So if I were you, I would download it now from the App Store or the Google Play Store. And if you want to dive deeper, head on over to the user guide.